Greetings, my wonderful friends. State governors have confirmed that a $1,000 extra relief payment will be going out. The Internal Revenue Service have also confirmed that there are now new eligibility requirements that Americans will have to meet in order to receive this stimulus check. So my good friends, please make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video to learn about how you can meet the new requirements. Also, be sure to share this video on social media and with your friends and family if they need more honest stimulus news. If you're interested in entering this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please watch until the end of this video for the key word. Science at the National Institutes of Health, the education of our children, the protection of our environment. It's just a remarkable thing to think of all the things that we can do working together for the people. This comes in a special sad time for us because of the destruction of Ida and Congress Madam Chair DeLauro was very much in the lead working and putting together a bill in a very bipartisan way to help meet the needs. One of the fastest turnarounds in disaster occurrences and people have told us that who are waiting for their uh, receiving these funds. This is quite remarkable. Hurricane Ida, its victims, other disasters eagerly await uh, this bill. And also th to meet the needs of our uh, the evacuees from Afghanistan. Some of us are particularly concerned about the women of Afghanistan, uh, but they and their families need uh, needed some uh, of our assistance in this regard to help. California Governor Gavin Newsom proposed giving state residents some relief in the form of a tax rebate, as rising energy costs have led to the Golden State having the highest gas prices in our nation. According to AAA, the average price of regular unleaded gas in the state of California as of this morning was $5.57 per gallon. In his state address, Governor Newsom had told reporters in January, we propose a pause to the gas tax increase. Now it's clear we have to go even farther. And that's why working with legislative leadership, I'll be submitting a proposal to put money back in the pockets of Californians to address rising gas prices. Gas prices have been skyrocketing in recent weeks. And President Biden has warned that they could continue to climb. Governor Newsom did not go into any detail of what his proposal would be. But senior advisor Dee Dee Meyer said it would be a rebate that could total billions of dollars. The rebate would be limited to those who reside in California. So friends, this is great news if you are a resident of the state of California. There is currently a limit which is required by lawmakers to return some of the excess funds to taxpayers as a rebate. Last year, the state of California also hit that threshold, prompting Governor Gavin Newsom to address the GAN limit by packaging it as a $600 Golden State stimulus. Before 2021, the limit had not been reached since 1986. And according to Bloomberg News, this summer, taxpayers could receive total payments of $1,125 or $4,500 for a family of four. Republican State Senator Brian Jones estimated that California's budget surplus could grow between $6 billion to $23 billion because these funds are collected from filed taxes. California's budget deadline is June 15th, but many officials have yet to officially indicate when exactly they will begin sending out this round of stimulus checks. Americans across our country are feeling the very fuel prices at the gas pumps and grocery stores. Gas prices have not yet reached record highs. So when adjusted for inflation, these are levels not seen since 2008. According to Brian Deese, director of the White House's National Economic Council, the Biden administration is looking at everything that they can do 
to mitigate the impacts here at home, including obviously the price of gas at the pump. So my friends, what are your gas prices per gallon in your part of our country? Please leave your answers in the comment section below. A proposal from Senator Mitt Romney of Utah would restart monthly payments for millions of Americans. Unlike previous stimulus efforts, Mitt Romney's plan could put work requirements in place for millions of recipients. The Family Security Act would provide monthly benefits of up to $350 per month for families with children ages 0 to 5 years old and $250 per month to those with children ages 6 to 17. The maximum monthly payment for families would be $1,250. Romney's legislation differs from the child tax credit in that his plan includes work requirement. NBC News reported that New York work requirements are part of the legislation. The threshold for state-level benefits is at least 80 hours of work per month or a comparable amount of job training and or volunteer work. The Family Security Act would also eliminate certain aid programs and make big changes to the tax code. The Utah Senator has worked with fellow Republicans on the legislation, though it had bipartisan support as more Democrats have been in conversation with Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney said in a statement the plan would immediately lift 3 million children out of poverty while providing a bridge to the middle class without adding a dime to the federal deficit. Friends, the keyword for this video is strawberry. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like my videos. Comment below this keyword and additional keywords from any video of mine that you watch. And please do verify that you are subscribed to my channel. This is the time to renew our commitment to families to help them meet the challenges they face as they take on the most important work any of us will ever do. This proposal offers a path toward great security for America's families by consolidating the many complicated programs to create a monthly cash benefit for them without adding to the deficit. Well, my mighty good friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who's watching my videos daily. Please friends, share my video with your family and friends if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. Thank you so much and have a wonderful and blessed Thursday.